start up with uh, the upcoming G20 summit as the head of the G20 summit we get you a mega network 18 exclusive where prime minister narendra modi has spoken to money control highlighting the impact of rising bharat on the global stage now prime minister modi said that india has been advancing the interests of the developing world including those of nations not represented in the G20 such as the countries of the african union the prime minister has made it clear that india's growth is not only beneficial for india, Indians but also for the world he further added that we have followed the approach of sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas and sabka prayas in our country for the last 9 years this is our guiding principle in global relations as well Well, I have CNN News 18's Aman Sharma joining me early this morning. Aman, a very good morning to you. Could you give us the key highlights of that conversation, that exclusive conversation Prime Minister Modi had with Money Control? See, I think the major, uh, the major words of the Prime Minister here, I would divide them into maybe four or five uh, parts. Obviously, a lot of thrust on the upcoming G20 Leaders Summit, which is happening later this week, where the US President and many other top world leaders are expected. A highlight event of India's. year long g20 presidency where the pm is say, speaking on india's g20 agenda he is saying that as you can see sabka saath sabka vishwas sabka prayas has been india's mool mantra which even the developing which even the world has accepted during the g20's presidency as the way to go forward if i quote the pm here he says that india's agenda for g20 was universally welcomed because the world knew that the country would bring its proactive and positive approach to find solutions to global issues a very important statement by the prime minister global issues of climate change global issues of growth peace inflation all these issues the world thought that india's agenda will help solve bring resolution to these global issues also him saying that what brings great dividends in bringing the country together is to pursue progress and deliver the fruits of growth to the last mile another very important point that what has been the agenda of india's g20 presidency equitable trade policies also i think the pm fling a strong thrust on the involvement of the african union in india's g20 presidency he said india has, has been advancing the interests of the developing world so that includes the interests of nations not even represented by the g20 such as countries of the african union and there's been a lot of buzz sakshi that after the european union is a part of the g20 why can't the african union also become a part of the g20 this is a huge talking point in diplomatic circles and will that actually uh, happen in the upcoming g20 leader summit will that move be happening towards that is also be very interesting to see also the pm saying that perhaps for the first time in the history of g20 the troika is with the developing world indonesia india and brazil indonesia had the g20 presidency before india now india has it and now india will be handing over the g20 presidency to brazil from december this year so in a way the the pm saying that this troika can amplify the voice of the developing world at a crucial time when obviously there are increased tensions due to increased geopolitics and you know the russia ukraine war going on which has practically divided the world into two parts also also the pm also stressing on how india has been advocating the for the global south another very very key agenda of the prime minister he has spoken it on other occasions as well that how india has been the shoulder for the global south even in this exclusive interview with money control he is saying that india is raising the concerns of the global south at all multilateral forums including the g20 and these are the countries with which we empathize the pm is saying so since we are part of the developing world we understand their aspirations another very important point from the pm that the it is the developing countries aspirations that india understands and the world looks at india when it looks at the global south i think very very uh, key uh, statements here also i think what the pm has said about india's growth story uh, also showcasing the india's growth story as we all know india is now the fifth largest economy in the world the pm has promised that india will be the third largest economy in the world in his third term as the prime minister the prime minister is saying that india's growth is not only good for indians but also for the entire world india's growth is a global good india's growth is clean growth india's growth is green growth i think very important points being made by the pm and also it says that how india's growth will further the interests of the global south india's growth is being achieved with a human centric approach the prime minister has told money control that can be replicated in other countries also very very important points a strong record of india i think be put forward by the prime minister in this interview with money control also the point that the pm is making i think uh, which has a political 
tinge to it also a very very strong point that india's growth is also because of political stability prime minister narendra modi clearly saying that the last two mandates that the people gave him led to politically stable strong governments in india 2014 mandate was given to him on the basis of the promises he made to the people but the 2019 mandate which was even bigger than the 2014 mandate came after performance and the future plan of the country that he laid out before the people so these two strong mandates led to a strong government at the center and that is why long lasting reforms in fact the word he uses is deep structural reforms could be carried out in the country because there was a stable government at the center and he said it is a privilege for him that people have placed this unprecedented trust in him and given him very very two strong mandates he saying due to this political stability we saw reforms we saw big reforms like the gst like other reforms which have been carried out and this is what has led to reforms in not just the economy but in every sector of the economy he's mentioned about economy about education about social empowerment about infrastructure about social welfare he said there are number of reforms which have happened so i think a very very strong pitch by mr narendra modi the prime minister to money control about the political stability of his government and why these strong electoral mandates matter and i think this is also a message before the 2020 24 elections uh, pm also i think speaking a very uh, confidently about the issue of inflation and freebies which is also dominating the political discourse in the country right now when the pm says that we have taken a number of steps to control inflation he says that even in the face of adversities and when at a time inflation is at a global high india's inflation was 2 percentage points lower than the global average inflation rate of 2022 again a very very important statement he still says that we are not resting on that and we continue to make pro people decisions like the uh, to boost the ease of living he referred to the recent uh, 200 rupees cut in the lpg prices you know because people were in a bit of a bother due to high lpg prices lpg price had reached 1100 rupees due to the global prices uh, pm saying that the government decided to give a rupees 200 relief to the common man and this is something that you know to the consumers it was given in fact to everybody so in a way is a, he describes them as pro people decisions to boost the ease of living but at the same time the pm has come down very strongly on the culture of freebies he is saying that you know many in fact he has been stressing that from many particular many multiple fora that precautionary steps need to be taken to avoid a similar situation in countries you know where there has been a debt crisis so in our country too he said in multiple platforms i have spoken about the need to be alert against financially irresponsible policies i think the direction here is towards the policies that the congress has been following in poll bound states like Madh- uh, like karnataka like himachal pradesh and now the upcoming states of madhya pradesh rajasthan and chatisgarh where the congress is promising these freebies lpg cylinders at only rupees 500 cash tolls to people the pm clearly saying that the long implication of such freebie policies destroy not only the economy but also the society and the poor actually pay a heavy price for this i think a very very important statement here by the prime minister that the freebies policy in fact hurt the poor in the long run and also hurt the economy in the long run but he says that people he is happy that people are increasingly becoming aware of the problem sakshi i would describe these are the major points of the prime minister's interview to money control and of course the entire interview will soon be posted on the money control website by 7:30 am